Welcome back to Think Thrice. Today we're going to be solving a fun differential equation that was sent to me by a math professor in my department. So if we look down here, we can see that our problem is a differential equation. So x times, in parentheses, x plus 4y times the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to y times x minus 4y. Our goal is to find an implicit solution in the form f of x, y is equal to some constant. So go ahead and pause the video if you'd like, see if you can solve this one on your own. And then we're going to go ahead and dive into our solution. Okay, so looking at this, uh, the first thing, uh, well, I'll be honest, I tried a few things that did not work. Um, but when we get to our final solution here, so what ended up working is, let's start off by getting our derivative on the left and everything else on the right. So let's get y prime on the left, get y over x times x minus 4y over x plus 4y. All right, so I see this term, on uh, this expression on the right. Um, I see this y over x. So this guy kind of jumped out to me. And I said, hey, I have that y over x, and then I have these terms here. And I noticed that if I divided the top and the bottom by x, I would have y over x terms in my expressions uh, in the parentheses as well. So let's go ahead and do that and rewrite our function as y over x times 1 minus 4y over x over 1 plus 4 times y over x. And when I'm doing differential equations, I often try substitutions. So the substitution I tried was, what if we made u equal to y over x? So that would mean that ux is equal to y. So then if I take the derivative of both sides, I would get u prime x plus u is equal to y prime. All right, so let's go ahead and try to make this substitution in here. So plugging it in, I'm going to get u prime x plus u is equal to u times 1 minus 4u. over 1 plus 4u. All right. So I see I have some u's in here. I have some x's. Let's do some rearranging. So let's rearrange this a little bit. Subtract that u from both sides. So I'm going to get u times 1 minus 4u over 1 plus 4u. And if I just subtract that and distribute it a little, I can say that that's minus 1. And then I can rewrite that as u times 1 minus 4u over 1 plus 4u minus 1 plus 4u over 1 plus 4u. And I can do a little bit of algebra to see that u prime x is going to be equal to u times uh, those ones are going to cancel. I'm going to be left with negative 8u squared over 1 plus 4u. All right, so I should be liking this. So I can see that I'm at a state where I can use separation of variables here. So if I put everything with a u on the left, I'm going to get du um, oh, sorry, uh, 8u. Uh, du times 1 plus 4u over negative 8u squared is equal to 1 over x dx. I'm going to integrate both sides of that expression. And now I'm going to see that I can solve all of these different portions. So on the left, uh, I'm going to get the integral of negative 1 eighth times 1 over u squared du plus the integral of negative 4 over 8 times 1 over u du 
that's going to be equal to just the integral of 1 over x dx. So all three of these are solvable. So I'm going to get over here, I'll get negative 1 over 8 times 1 over u times negative 1 plus negative 1 half times integral of 1 over u, which is ln of u. I'm going to get that equal to ln of x plus some arbitrary constant. All right, so my question wanted my solution in terms of an arbitrary constant, so let's move everything over to the same side over here. So I'm going to get 1 over 8u plus ln of u to the negative one half, remember our logarithm rules, minus ln of x equals to that constant. I can combine those log terms to get 1 over 8u plus natural log of 1 over square root of u times x is equal to a constant. And then I remember that u was equal to y over x. So I can perform that substitution. And I should get 1 over 8 times x over y plus the natural log of 1 over the square root of y over x times x is equal to c. And with just a little bit more simplification, I can see that that's going to be x over 8y plus the natural log of 1 over the square root of xy is equal to c. And that is my final answer. All right, I appreciate you joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that fun little math problem. And I will see you in the future. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And send an upload a problem uh, if you would like me to try a specific problem you've been looking at. Thanks, and think thrice.